Hey, 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 it's me again, Priscilla Kuma, registered nurse based in New York State. Come from Ghana. As always, the intro remains the same. So, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you've already been here, thanks for sticking with me and watching my videos to the end. It's been a journey and I've been enjoying every bit of the ride. Thank you all my subscribers and all fellow YouTubers for your support. Okay. This is a much asked and needed topic I have to talk about. It will help a lot of overseas nurses and even nurses who are in the USA yet to start their process. If you're a foreign educated nurse, this video is for you. Watch to the end. If you want to work in USA, this video is for you. Watch to the end, okay? So the name you already know is Priscilla. Uh, I double as a lead consultant for USR and Pathway Consult, where we help registered nurses midwives and psychiatry or mental health nurses with their USA processing documents to be able to work in USA. We help you through the paperwork, then you write and click, we find your recruiters, then you begin your USA dream of working in America, like most of us are looking into. So yeah, this is the right channel to be locked on. I bring videos at least, not less than three videos a week. It's a lot of work, but I'm on top, I'm on top of it. And I, I have to get this done. Okay, topic of the day. Many are stuck because of English proficiency test. I say always that IELTS is not the only English proficiency test. We have PSM PTE, we have OAT, Cambridge, and so many more. Find the one that works for you. Find the state you are gonna use and if they require that. So this is how it works. There are 50 states in America. Find a state of your choice that has requirements that favor a foreign educated nurse. Requirements that will not hold you down like social security number, house address, and stuff like that. Then, if that state requires an English proficiency test, find out which type of English proficiency test they require. Normally, the most used one is IELTS, acceptable by so many of these states. But there are states that do not require an English proficiency test. And I happen to live in one of them. I never wrote any English proficiency test. I live in New York, if you didn't catch that in the intro, and they do not require an English proficiency test. Yes, so I just gave one away. I have a few more for you. Yes. So, if they don't accept IELTS, there are other ones you can use. But as I said, IELTS is mostly used. And the only reason why you watching from outside the US will need an English proficiency test is for something we call visa screen certificate. That is what you need after you have passed NCLEX and you'll be starting your immigration process. So the English proficiency test result is needed only after you have passed the NCLEX, which is the USA Nursing Licensure, for you to do your immigration paperwork to come into the US. That is why you need that English proficiency test, even if the state you chose does not require it. It's part of immigration requirements for a registered nurse who wants to work in USA. So even if you chose New York, that does not require it and you live outside America, you would have to take it because you need it for immigration to enter America. But if you happen to already live in USA, you would not need it. So I happen to live here before I did all my nursing process. I have, as I have said many times in my videos and on other channels as well. So I did not take it and I did not need it because I did not need any immigration. I already live in the USA. Yes. So if you live here and you're watching, you don't need IELTS for New York and some other states. Yes. Don't go and entangle yourself. If you live in here, you already have an advantage of skipping that. So find a state that does not require it. And my job is to bring that state to you in a concise video. Okay. So let's get into it. I've already mentioned New York that does not require it. Which ones are the other ones that do not require it? As usual, my companion is here. We do research and bring research to you in a very concise form. Another state that is very good is Connecticut. I have a lot of colleagues in Connecticut. They use Connecticut or what you might think is called Connecticut. It's not, it's called Connecticut. And Connecticut has a friendly process 
for foreign educated nurses. I have a colleague working there. He used it and was very fast. Fast. So Connecticut is one of the six New England states. We have Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, and all that. So Connecticut does not require an IELTS for you to be able to register with your state board of nursing and practice in Connecticut. Okay, let's go to Montana. If you want to go to the Wild West, yes, Montana is one of them. They do not require you to have an English proficiency test, IELTS, before you can register with the board and take NCLEX. The third one is South Dakota or South Dakota. So I have a friend in North Dakota as well. South Dakota also does not require you to have an English proficiency test before you can register with their board of nursing and take NCLEX. And Northern Mariana Islands is a territory of the United States. It consists of 14 islands in the Northwestern Pacific Ocean. They also do not require English proficiency test. So I've given you five. Let me go through again. Northern Mariana Island, Montana, New York, Connecticut, South Dakota. And I think that makes five, right? Yes. So if you're looking into any of these states that do not require English proficiency test, you can consider one of these five that I've given you. Connecticut, Montana, New York, Northern Mariana Island, South Dakota. And did I tell you the icing on top of this? These five states that I've also mentioned do not require social security number. Yes, social security number is something you are given when you live in the USA based on the type of visa you came on. Visitors don't have that. If you have a B1, B2 visa, you don't come, you don't get a social security number because you cannot work with those visas. But if you have a visa type that allows you to work, you get a social security number that is unique to you. It's like your identification number or if you're watching from Ghana, it's like your Ghana card number that is just unique to you. Only you can have that. So because you do not live here, you do not have social security number. So these same five states do not expect that from you. They don't require social security number before you can do it. So I know a lot of people outside the U.S. are using New York because they don't require that. At the same time, they do not require IELTS. So these five states that I've mentioned, including one territory, all do not require that. So if you are a foreign educated nurse, overseas nurse, schooled outside the U.S. and looking forward to working in the U.S.A., consider these states. As I said, our job is to bring the content to you. Your job is to sit down and do thorough research and make sure that the information is authentic. Validate that information first before you go with it. Don't just take it from us as the gospel and work with it. Go to the state website, New York Board of Nursing website, see what the requirements are. And if it favors you, you can use that. I mentioned before that New York is also a state that does not require necessarily require you to use CGFNS, which is the credential evaluation company that most have used and most have gotten frustrated because they would delay and mess, mess up your work most of the time if your documents are not thorough or do not fall in line. So I always advise people to move away from them. I'm not killing their market. I alone cannot kill their market, but if you want to escape all the frustration, I use them. It, it was stressful. You can get in touch with them and all that. Yes. So New York State, you can do a direct application to New York Board of Nursing. You get the forms 2F and 3F. You download those forms, fill it out, take one to your school, take one to your nursing council, let them endorse it, send you via courier service, DHL, FedEx, Royal Mail, or whatever you have, wherever you're watching from, and then they will do their own evaluation for you. Sometimes it takes longer because they have a lot of work already, but they will do the evaluation for you so that you skip that evaluation service, that CGFNS process, and then you get your report, then you register, then you take the boards. So this video is loaded. It began from states that do not require IELTS, you went to states that do not require social security number and you went to states that you can skip CGFNS. So don't I have all the information for you? Am I not fabulous like that? Please, if you think that my video has helped you in any way at all, please, please, please 
click on the thanks the love sign below this video with a dollar in between and say thank you to me from $199 to $49.99 if you think my videos have been helpful share this content with other people as well and help each other speak to the right people not everybody is on this journey with you not everybody has like minds and not everybody is wishing you well so find yourself in my telegram group facebook group facebook page i'll leave all the link in the description box and join that group there are so many opportunities people are sharing all the people in that group are on a journey us rn journey they've got different contracts from different agencies as nursing assistants or as rns and it's fabulous and you are missing out if you are not in that telegram group thank you take care of each other just ignore my deodorant that sprays every five seconds to make the room smell good that was just the sound you heard at the background thank you bye bye see you in the next video take care <laughs>